All right, guys. So it is the day after Halloween. So officially, Merry Christmas. We are, I always say almond, but it's so annoying and I try to edit it out. We're going to transition slowly into Christmas. Now I know it's a little early for some of y'all. Okay, and I'm sorry if you're offended. And also, who hurt you, right? Because I mean, it's Christmas and it's other people's joy and it's none of your bit. Anyway, um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do it slowly, like I said, because I've got a lot and I don't wanna get overwhelmed and I'm a little bit lazy this week and always. Um, so we're gonna get started with that. I'm gonna start in the living room here just because I don't know how we're gonna do it this year. Um, there, see there it was. I'm not sure if we're going to put up our big tree, our 12 foot tree, because usually we sit it right here where I'm standing and there is now a basement entrance right here where I'm standing. So the tree is not going to work here. The other place I usually put it is over on that wall. As you can see, there's now the coffee bar there because of where we bought the china cabinet. It's in there on the other side of that wall. And I just did not like the two cabinets in the same area, especially since they're, one's painted white and black and one is just its natural wood color. I'm weird about stuff. Uh, dogs are worse than kids. Um, but we're not sure about the big tree. Nolan is set on putting up the big tree, so i probably put up the big tree. But I really would like to just get a nine foot tree, but I don't wanna have to you know, pay for it. Um, so I don't know, but for now, Oh, Nolan is set on the big tree, mainly because he wants the train set that we picked up last year. Um, he wants that around the big tree. We bought a train set. Well, we had a train set when I moved out. Or it might have been years later. Anyways, my mom gave my kids a train set that she had. Um, it slowly got, you know, like broken because the pieces aged and it just slowly missed lost pieces of it. But, so we bought one last year and Nolan loves it. And that's what he's most excited about. So I'm thinking that he's not here right now, if that matters. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get the living room done. That means I have to clean first and foremost because yuck. Um, and then I have to undecorate, which won't take long because we didn't do a whole bunch of Halloween decorating anyways. I have to undecorate and then get it put up. That means this chair is going to come out. And see, it's going to be a long process for me. We're going to break this up into parts. Um, but I really like to get up the living room tree. And that way and have the excuse me and then have the train around it so that he can you know the train is up when he gets home even though we don't have no batteries for it but that'll be an excuse for me to go to dollar general and see what they've got okay because last time we was there if you watched the halloween treat video um they was just now putting out our halloween stuff i mean wrong season they was just now putting out our christmas stuff so i would like to fix this hair it's driving me crazy um i would like to go see what dollar general has so we might do that too Anyways, we're going to get the living room done. Um, my plan is to have everything done inside the house by Thanksgiving. And I know you're like, girl, that's three weeks away. It is, but if you've been around for the last couple of Christmases, you know that I change my mind and I move stuff around and then I have to redo stuff. And it's a whole process for me with Christmas. It's a big deal. Um, and so why not go ahead and get started? That way I get it done quicker. So I get to enjoy it for more than three days, completely finished before I start pulling it down. Because the day after Christmas, as much as I love Christmas, once Christmas is over, Christmas is gone. So the day after Christmas, I start pulling it all down. So it just gives me longer to enjoy it, okay? And I'm all about enjoying my life. So we're gonna get started. I think I've been talking way too long, but sometimes that's just how it is. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I gotta clean first. I really need to clean my couch because I've seen a few spots of mysteriousness on it. Um, and now's the perfect time to do it because we're not like planning a family movie. There's nobody sitting on it, which is usually what it is. So we're gonna clean the couch, clean the living room, and then we're gonna start dragging totes up here, which is not my favorite part, like at all. But it is what it is. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Santa's coming to visit 
one of my favorite, well, the set is one of my favorite things that I own. My friend Erin, again, from the Sunflower Homemaking channel, um, she told me about these last year, and I love them. I've got the white one in here. I've got a black one in there on the white mantle. They're my favorite. Wish this wasn't a snowman, because snowman is not Christmas. It's winter, and anyways, I wish it was more Christmassy than this, but it's fine. Um... They do have other ones I can order. Am I going to? No. Um, but we're just going to put this here. I just wanted to share. This is one of my favorite things. I don't remember what the website is. Land something. I don't know. I get magazines all the time. I just got one the other day. But if it's online, still, I would try to link it below if I can remember. Um, stop it. I gave $10 for this. I loved it so much. I bought the other one in black for the other mantle, which is, I don't know if this is a mantle. And then I bought one for my sister-in-law for Christmas as well in the white. So, I'll link it below. I'm sure, they might still have it. I'm sure they do. of despise 
was using the carpet cleaner. Well, or is it a carpet cleaner right now? It's a couch cleaner. Either way, I kind of despise it, but also kind of love it. Like, it's so satisfying to see it start out dirty and brown and then just turn white and bubbly. It's nice. I don't, I don't like doing it because it is very time consuming, especially when you do the couch because you have to go over it so many times. As long as it is still sucking up water, I will continue going over it because obviously I want the couch to dry as soon as possible. So it's very time consuming, but it's always worth it. Always. <laughs> Obviously, you're a part of my tribe, whether you're here because you're ready for Christmas on the very first of November, or just because you're literally part of my tribe and you just support everything that I put out. And for you all that's just sitting there and just cringing through my Christmas content because you love me, well, I love you. But there's just something so special about Christmas music. And this next one coming up, when I watched back one of my old videos... It brought back all the feels. It was absolutely my favorite song last year, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize because I have a feeling it's going to be my favorite song again this year because I was just like belting it out, having the best time of my life when I was listening to it the other day. So I'm going to apologize because the song that I'm going to play next, you're going to be hearing a lot of. Plus, I think other content creators enjoy it too. So this is the apology and the warning, but if you love me, you're going to get used to it or tolerate it because you're going to listen to it a lot. What I tell you, he got the remote and one of my house shoes. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time I really need to pull the couch out I don't want to We're going to pretend that that's not needed When it's definitely needed It's definitely needed I'm, Doesn't matter if the snow is falling
tomorrow to do more or if I'm just gonna get it done we'll see um I want to get the train out low and see what kind of batteries it needs because we might run down to Dollar General and do a little walk through maybe they've got the rest of the stuff out down there I don't know just thought I'd update if I don't get to do more today or decide not to do more today I can just go and straight to decorate tomorrow the undecorating thing takes a long time. If I, well, I mean, it didn't in there, but I think I'm gonna behind the scenes undecorate everything else. Um, decorating takes longer than decorating it. I mean, decorating it takes longer than undecorating it, but it's just, it's taking forever. It's just like my mind's going 100 miles an hour and my legs are going too. So, today's one of those days. Um, but I was really set on getting that tree up. Also, I don't know what tree I'm going to put there. I'm thinking I'm going to put the little six and a half foot tree. I would like to have a pencil tree there. But I can't go and buy a new tree just because I want a different design or height or whatever. I mean, I can. But I don't want to. Even though, you know. You know. So, money ain't free. Okay. World rejoices for yonder brave. New and glow. They're so slacking. It's fine. On your knees. Oh, hear the angel voice say. Oh, night. Divine. The night. 
focus um we went and i went to the dollar general was well, they didn't still didn't have all their stuff out but i went ahead and done a little bit of a shop with me in there um just because i said i was going to and then i could have edited it out it's fine but we went to dollar general and we already ate dinner i'm gonna go ahead and get up the little tree it is so dark in here now like that little lamp made it so much brighter in this little room plus it's getting dark um but we're gonna go ahead and get this tree up mainly because i want to get it up and get some lights going in here because it is super dark like i said and i'm not a fan of dark i cannot stand it dark like i always accuse john of being a bat because he likes it dark and i just i don't like it dark but we're gonna get it up and nolan is really wanting that train put up like he's super excited so we probably will end up putting up the big tree because he just won't quit talking about it and y'all know that i have to make my babies happy so we'll probably put the big tree up but we're not going to do that for now i told him that would probably be like the last thing we do we'll see but i did tell him that we're going to put it around the little tree so we're going to get the little tree up hopefully we got enough lights that's working i was going to test them before i went to dollar general but then i didn't i didn't think about it so that's what we're going to do get the tree up get it semi-decorated at least hopefully i found the tote last year i took the time whenever i was putting stuff away i put it away in specific totes and i made little labels to go on each box that like says mantle living room um living room tree loft tree all of that stuff and if i've done it correctly it's going to help and save a lot of time because we've got six or seven christmas totes and i only had to bring up the ones i'm working with right now which is so much better for my clutter issue which you won't believe I have once I get all this Christmas stuff put up. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this tree put up. I also forgot that this is the saddest looking tree I've ever seen in my life. It is what it is, I guess. It's fine. We made it work last year. We're going to make it work again. <laughs> Christmas trees feel. I usually put on long sleeves, but we change once a day. I think we're good. We're maxed out. So we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be such a sad tree. I remember last year for my tree that I have up in the loft, it had a couple of spots that looked bald. Um, and so I went to Hobby Lobby and bought a few of the little picks, like with tree. And I put them in it, and it works fantastic. This tree is a $25 tree, I think. Is that what we paid for this? Oh, no. Excuse me. A $20 tree. Because um, I bought this for, I think I bought this for the loft, just because I needed a small one up there. Because uh, that's where my office is. And I didn't want to have to take the desk down and stuff, and then, you know, don't want it somewhere. So, $20 tree, just because I didn't need much. Um... But last year, I put up that tree with the snow on it that a company sent me. So this one ended up coming down here last year because when we got the new couch, I needed something to fill the space. I think that's what happened. I honestly don't. I don't remember. We'll have to go back and watch the old vlog. Tree, the leaves are 
forever um probably months ago i got these in the mail and i have no clue who sent them to me not a clue not a single clue so i just opened them up one day and i was thinking what in the world but i'm very happy about them and i've been meaning to share them but i was worried they're gonna get broke because i had them on the table forever to share and so I took them to the Christmas stuff. I even took a picture of them to share it. You know, to be like, whoever bought me these, thank you. I don't know who it was. So, but whoever you was, thank you so, so much. We love them. So I'm not sure what tree these will go on. We'll figure it out. But I wanted to share them because I finally remembered to. Thank you. Christmas tree. thinking i put colored lights on the tree and it's supposed to be white lights i found the bag of ornaments that go on the tree and it's supposed to be white lights i think we're going to redo it because i'm afraid if i don't i'm going to regret it i don't remember what color is on the big tree do you remember if this is it colored lights on the big tree or white lights on the big tree yeah I don't remember. I don't remember. but if the big tree is white i definitely don't want them to be colored i don't think yeah that wasn't hard to find um, if you can see it, the big tree, and then this is actually the tree that we're putting here now, um, because when we got the new couch, we moved it, but I gotta put the white lights on the tree, because if not, I'm gonna regret it, and I can't wait till the house looks like this completely, because it's just like, it's cluttery, but it's happy. So, we're gonna change the lights really I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is. 
place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. day it's a little bit later no it's not it's the same time anyways the chickens are up um, and ready to be let out into the run the goats are ready to be fed their pellets um, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the animals took care of out here and then we're gonna go in and finish decorating the living room um, I didn't want to decorate like that little bookshelf thing um, last night because it was dark and I just was not a fan of the light. I only went ahead and done the tree because no one wanted to do it so bad. So we're gonna go in and finish up the living room after we let all these girls out and you know get them all fed and whatnot. So I just wanted to pop on here really quick. We're gonna get these critters cared for and then we will get on with it. Oh the goat feeds in the house. I forgot. It's fine. Get your food. Yeah. And I forgot, I don't think I've mentioned, <laughs> yeah, they're loud. They do not like it when their routine is messed up, but I don't think I've shared on here that Celica finally started laying and her egg is like a very light sage green color it's not quite showing up on the camera i don't think but i was very excited when we found that i'll be right back i'm sorry i left it in the house i'll go get it they're still out here yelling at me i could hear them in the house when i was filling up the container you like routine don't you huh yeah, I'm coming. I got the goods. Let me in. <laughs> Sounds like. Did somebody else lay an egg or are you just telling me that you already had a delivery today? Huh? Nope. You just let me know about your last one. Thank you. Thank you for your service. This little beauty. Wanting to get into meanness. Right? Want to go explore? What is it? 
kind of match the outside, don't you, girl? See, I'm getting so big. Yeah, she's wanting to go attack a squirrel or something. All right. All right, let's get your breakfast. Here, mamas. Miss Dixie has definitely got big on us. What are you doing, silly? Huh? What is it? Yeah, I got the rabbit some food. You've already ate. Not my fault you inhale it. And if you're curious, while I was out here doing one of those birds that's like a cat, I guess. Um, if you're curious, while I was out here doing the girls' animal chores, um, that's because we have like a, a deal. It's an unspoken deal, but it's a deal. I just do the morning chores for all of the animals. Um, and then in the evening, they do all the evening chores. So it works for us. Uh, and I don't know how it happened. I think it just accidentally did, but it works. So I do the morning chores for all of the animals, my goats, my chickens, and you know, for putting a label on it. It's my goats, my chickens, um, Wendy's rabbit, and Lily's cat. But in the evening, Wendy does her rabbit and my chickens, and Lily does her cat and my goat. So it works, okay? I was just throwing that out there because I remember saying that you had enough. Um, I remember saying, you know, when they got them, it's their animals, it's their responsibility, and it is, but we just kind of share the responsibility of our animals. Because in the end, we're actually, what did you get? Um, you know, we're family. We all um, benefit from all of the animals. But yeah, I was throwing that out there. All right, we're gonna get in here and get this living room finished. And I'm ready for it. I'm excited about it. Um, ready to be able to sit and enjoy it in the morning so ignore that mess um but let's go get it done why are you hiding because you have a spoon or do you have something else yes yes you do Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in 
and we're not putting the the train around it. I did bring this table back because it's so dark in here without this light. And like if I'm watching a Christmas movie or something in the evening, I like it dark with just the Christmas tree on. But usually I'm not, I'm not a bat. So I brought this shelf back in here. Plus it looks just too empty with just little. It looks 40 years old. Yoda here, which book? You know this one? Really old. It would dust um, come out of it when you slack it. <laughs> You're joking, right? Really, it really does. Anyways. I went up and got some of the Christmas books. I think we've got more, but this is all I could find on the kids' bookshelf. Um, and we're going to just put the Christmas books down here because that's fun. And it's right here. And this is where I usually keep like the books I want to read, my devotionals and whatnot. But I'm going to put them away for now and then put all these Christmas books out. And they're pretty much all about the birth of Jesus, but you know. That is what it is. So. Oh, this was a good one. I forgot about it. The Advent book. And then we got this one, which I... Did we read this one? It's the very first Christmas. It is a Bible-based book, but it is the Bearstein Bears. So, and then we got Mayor's Christmas, and then all these other ones. The Christmas Story According to Luke. A Story of Christmas Fear Not Joseph. <laughs> the Velveteen Rabbit. And then North Pole Ninjas. Well, that's cute. Where'd that come from? We don't know. And then these are two, like, chapter books. Bad Pets Save Christmas and Flat Stately. But we're going to just put these on the shelf. I'm going to call it good. What? I didn't say nothing. What? Nothing. What are you thinking? 
Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time, bye guys.